cheese on your side. Better call bacon. A St. Petersburg man is closer to getting back the house he claims was stolen from him. Tony Hay turned to Better Call Bankin, claiming a stranger forged fake documents to pretend he bought Tony's rental home. Our investigation revealed the man who took possession of Tony's house was accused of stealing two other homes as well. Eight on your side, investigator Shannon Bacon joins me now, and you are getting some results on this one. We are, Josh. This saga has been going on now for two years, wow. but tonight the man accused of defrauding three families is in jail, and a civil judge has ruled in Tony's favor. It was in this courtroom earlier this week that Tony Hay claims he first saw Jonathan Blue, the man who has been living in his house for two years after recording what law enforcement says is a fake deed. I found the closet. Hay was in Seattle recovering from a stroke when Jonathan Wesley Blue bought his house and two others for nothing. He's now charged with four felonies. Uh, this is a guy with barely little education, and they're trying to make it like he's some mastermind that stole these three education houses. Education is not relevant to intelligence all the time. The woman who notarized the questionable deed pleaded guilty to fraud, but police told Tony to go after Blue in civil court. After we got involved, the state attorney's office reopened their investigation and arrested Blue. Investigators say one of the supposed sellers was deceased, and that house was turned over to Blue's company, Lifted Real Estate. Blue's attorneys asked the judge to lower his $280,000 bond. Motion denied. Thank you. Meanwhile, days after this hearing, a civil judge issued a writ of possession, granting Tony legal rights to his house once again. Now the criminal court just want to make sure those criminals are in jail. The criminal case is far from over, and Blue's company is sure to have a starring role. Now, how did you guys come up with the LLC name Lifted Real Estate? <laughs> I see how you guys are reporting it on the media, like, oh, no, oh, go figure, Lifted Real Estate. Um, it's not, like, that's, that's preposterous. Um, it's, there's a lot of meanings that could be taken behind it. I think it was more spiritual for Blue than um, actually, like, Lifted as in probably stolen property. So, okay. but, um, Unfortunate name. Even after Blue lost his civil case and was arrested, his attorneys insist that he is innocent. All three deeds show that Blue paid nothing at all, but he insists he paid cash for each and every home, but he just doesn't have any proof. By the way, that is a fair question, because every time you cover this story, I'm mm -hmm. wondering why is that LLC named that? We all want to know. That'd be my very first question. So great, thanks for asking that. But what about other victims, the other families involved in this? Well, you know, there's several others. One is actually deceased, so, you know, we can't go ask them about it, but the state attorney's office tells me that they've interviewed the families involved, and they all say that they didn't know Blue, they have no idea who he is, they didn't sell their homes, and they want them back as well. Wow, what a story. All right, Shannon, thanks so much. And